In this video, I'm gonna give you a run through of the new 3D puffer jacket mock-up bundle. If you've already seen some of these tutorials, you'll be very familiar with how they work. They're all exactly the same. It's the same process of applying your artwork. And there's a video here that goes in a lot more detail if you're a beginner. So first, if you haven't already, download the pack and then we can dive straight into this. So if you haven't already, go and download Blender. Again, there's a link in the description for that. That's free software, which is great to use for this if you're looking to learn 3D. So with the file, we've got three options. You can get the whole bundle at a discount or you can get one of three options. So for this one, I'm gonna go and open the one with the hood because that contains the most on there. So we're gonna go into the folder and you can see here we've got the Blender file. So we're gonna open that up. That's gonna open up in Blender. And you can see here that we've got this and you've got all these lovely lighting effects going on. And this is such a nice mock-up to work with because you get that real realistic lighting. So if we go over to our different views, we can go to the main render. Just so you guys are aware, if you are trying to work with this in the most efficient time, then you can turn a couple of things off that will make your life easier. So I often quite like to just turn the room off while I'm working with the design, just so I can speed things up and it doesn't have to render the scene as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch that off by ticking that. And then this is just the mock-up and I've got the slider of the timeline here. That's for the animation too. So you can see that rotates nicely for me. So. Over in here, we've got the puffer jacket. And if we drop that down, you can see that we've got the animation and so on, and that's where everything is. When we've got that selected, we can go in here and choose which area we want to edit. So I'm gonna go into here and go to main mat outside material. As at the moment, you can see that there's nothing in here. So if that's the case for you, just on a Mac, hold command and zoom out and you'll see that you've got all the nodes over here and then you can scroll in to zoom in. So I'm gonna turn this jacket into a different color for this example. So I'm gonna crank this up and then go around and choose any color that I like. So let's go for something nice and vibrant. You can see that the artwork as well, because it's white currently, it doesn't stand out so much. That could be quite nice if you wanted a subtle design, but let's say we wanna make that black we wanna go and update the artwork. So you just click in here, click OK, and that will update that you're gonna add some new artwork in there. So you can see that it's gone from the mock-up. So we click on this folder, and then we're gonna go over and locate our artwork. So I've got some artwork here, which is all set up and ready to go. So because I'm working with a light jacket and I'm using a dark print, I want to connect the alpha to the print. Sometimes you don't get the most accurate view in this render for you as well. So head on over and click on this one. You can see that if we rotate that now, you can see the artwork nicely. Essentially, that is ready to be exported and ready to go. We could go ahead and change the color of the jacket as well. Now that we've done that, that doesn't make a difference. Won't make a difference to your artwork. But if you wanted to add some lighter artwork, so let's say that we've gone for um, a dark jacket and we want some light artwork, we go through the same process of updating that and I'll select the light artwork and then I'll just go in and remove the print transparency and that's much better for working with lighter designs. We can also change the color of the inside as well. So if we wanna change that, we wanna to go to slot two and then that at the moment is set to gray and we wanna change that to white, for example. You can see that we've got a design on the inside of that as well. So the design for this again is updated here. So you can click OK again and select the artwork. So you're probably wondering now how we update the artwork. So I'll go ahead and show you that bit. What you wanna do is go and get this main outside folder. So if you don't have Photoshop, you can use Photopea for free or Affinity Designer for free as well. They're the same thing really. Um, it's basically just Photoshop knockoffs. Um, and you'll see here that we've got the layer one. Now we wanna go and add our design in. So you could just put your design in here. You could drag and drop something like a PNG if you've already created it, or you could just go and work in this file as well if you choose to. So I'm gonna go back here and these are my design files. So I'm gonna go and use the light one and I'm just gonna drag and drop that over here because I've already created this. So I'm gonna make up a quick split screen so you can see what's going on. So I've got Photoshop on the left and I've got Blender on the right at the moment. So you can see if I rotate this, this is where the current artwork that's on the left is positioned. So this section here down the middle of the hood, that's this section here. 
We've got some prints either side of the hood as well. So that is obviously the left side. And then over on the right, that is the right side. We've then got this little section here that is on the front here. So this little bit that goes over the, over the zip. Then you've got this section here that is along the back, which is underneath the hood in there. So this works for the view without the hood as well. Then obviously we've got this as the back print. So you can see there, we've got the back print there and that little design here, that's just sneaking underneath the hood. And then we've got the chest graphic. You can see here where the zip is down the middle. We've got the chest graphic there in terms of positioning. This artwork will help you to see where things are when it goes to laying it out. And then we've got the sleeves either side, left and right. So what I do now is I'm gonna change the inside of the jacket to black. I'm gonna go and update the artwork for the inside of that. So if we tip it down now, you'll see that we've got the option to control the inside of the jacket color. And you'll see now that there's some artwork in there. And you're probably wondering why I've got some artwork in there because you can't even see it. So this is gonna be on the next mock-up. So I'll jump over to that one now. So if we go to the puffer jacket mock-up that's open, we have this view. So I'm gonna go and open the Blender file. So with this mock-up, you can see that it's open in the middle. So you can see the design in the back. And we've also got a little label in the neck as well. So you can brand that up, which is quite a nice little feature. So I'm gonna make this all black, this one. And what I'm gonna do is go and update the artwork on here. So again, if I wanna speed up the process, for example, if you're working on a Mac, they don't handle as well as PC. So this is a good little tip for that. We can switch the room off. We can get things working a little bit quicker. I'm gonna to switch to live render mode and you can see that we've got the label in the back here. So if I wanted to update that, we wanna go over to slot three. So in slot three, we've got the same option to update our artwork. And again, you can just locate that. We've got the template one in the file. So you can see in the prints, we've got this artwork for a black one, this one for a white one, just so you can test stuff out. And we've also got this one too, and that's for the patch. And then we've got this for the back. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do the patch one. So we've got this inside patch file here. We're gonna open this one up in Photoshop and I'm gonna go and grab my artwork, which is this patch here. And you'll see that that's positioned on here. What I wanna do though is make the patch black and then the design white. So I'm gonna go and invert that. I'm gonna hit Command I to invert that. And I'm gonna hide this layer here, which was my guide. I'm gonna go File, Export, Save for Web. I'm gonna save that as a PNG. And then let's go and save that in our folder. So I'm gonna to go to prints and I'm gonna use the same one as here. This one I'm gonna call dark. So now we've got our artwork saved down. We can then go ahead and drop this in. So I'm gonna go and update the patch artwork. So make sure that we are in the right slot. So inside patch material on slot three. So I'm gonna go and choose the color. I'm gonna set that to black because we've got some light artwork going on there. And then I'm gonna go and click this little icon here, new image and click okay. And then I'm gonna locate the artwork. So I'm gonna to go to my prints and you can see it here, I've got inside patch for print dark. So I'm gonna go and open that image and you'll see the artwork is now in there. I can zoom in a little bit as well to show you that. So again, you can go ahead and choose the color. So if you wanted to have a pink one or red or green or whatever it is you choose, then you have the option there to do that. I'm gonna keep it black for this one. And the same goes with the inside artwork as well. So you can go ahead and change that to anything you like and it works all in the same way. And you can see here as well, just while we're here, all these textures that we've got coming through as well. So it's a really, really nice mock-up to work with. And all the lighting, the way it bounces off it, proper nice to work with. So last but certainly not least, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the one with no hood. So again, it works in exactly the same way. I'm gonna click don't save on this one for now. So it opens up the file because I don't need that one, but if you're working with that, obviously go ahead and save it. And then you'll see here, we've got the different view of the jacket zipped up. So one other thing to draw your attention to is if you wanted a matte jacket or a gloss jacket. So you've got the specular down here. If you wanted that to be matte, then set it to 0.1. And if you wanted that to be gloss, then set that to one. And then that will get all that nice lighting reflecting off of that as well. So if you just want this option or you just want the one with the hood, then you have the option to just get those as standalone products. The idea behind the bundle though, is for producing some really nice prototypes that show the variety of the concept you're putting together for your client or for your own clothing brand. So we thought it'd be quite nice to give you the option to have a jacket open, 
one with a hood up and one with it zipped up as well. And we appreciate that some of you might not want all of those options. So again, if you just wanted the one, you can do that option. So you don't have to buy the whole thing. But if you did want to buy the whole thing, there's obviously a discount for buying it as a bundle. And it goes without saying that we always love to see what you guys cook up using our products. So go ahead and tag Studio and 8 in future deconstruction. So myself and Igor, we can see what you guys have made. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe to be notified when the next products like these drop. And if you've enjoyed this video, and it's brought you some value, go ahead and click like. We'd really appreciate that. And in the meantime, we hope you enjoy using this and we'll see you in the next video.